Hi peeps and welcome once again to Master Waterman for the fourth part in the Snook tutorial the double up shooting with two guns Shailing Snook, Natal North Coast KZ in South Africa that's how I keep scanning left and right, left and right nice fizz you see the floor about 2-3 to three meters depth here gotta keep wide awake for fast Snook as they come through here comes the shoal. Away with the first gun, bring the second gun around off the belt. Oh, lucky I'm on the belt reel. Not a muzzle wrap. We'll see why just now. The D ring had been moved on a gun service the day before. Lovely sound as a snook tears away. Come on, die, buddy. Uh, Dylan Cook, come on, a shot. Then the shell's coming through. Let's see if he can bag himself one as well. Smart, uh, yeah. Rob Allen, deployable flasher. Best snook flasher around. And as Willow leaves, just pull the snook. Works better in sunshine rather than overcast. Overcast. The mirrored flashes work better in overcast. Making sure I'm staying clear of my belt line. Okay, so it's not takes another heavy run. Always make sure you go under your line. Never over. Here you can see those little willow leaves. And that fire tiger squid that's on the bottom is, is also key. Um, Orange and yellow, very good for game fishing in KZN. Okay, this time boat's not getting in the same direction. You float line and float plays the other fish. You can see it was messed up on the D-ring in the front of the line. Okay, I've got him just in front of the dorsal. Here comes the second fish around. Float. Let's take care of that bolt wheel line. And you can see there's a bit of sinew there just in front of the anal fin. The spear tends to hold pretty well. Nice five and a half kilo fish. Head over to the float. String it while the other one's still fighting. Notice I string through the top of the head of the snook. Kill it at the same time. Through. And out between the gills. Not through the gills. There's a lot of blood in the water. Take the stringer back up. You can either clip off here or run your spear back through the holes. I find it quicker to push it back through when the, the, the two holes are like quite close to each other. See, I've got quite a bit of line twist there. The uh, brass swivel that sits in front was uh, not working. The best way to uh, get this working again is just to run out on a bit of boiling water. It works like a pro again. Always make sure I reload before I go for the second fish. <laughs> now the confusion starts. <laughs> Why is my line not tightening? What is going on? Always check your gear after service or having it in the shop. 
No one else is responsible for forgetting where you're here besides yourself. The two problems are the line twist, plus that D ring is not right. Aha! No, it's not pinching the line anymore. World's longest gun reload. <laughs> Even happens to the pros. At least I got it uh, sorted out at the start of the day. I managed to get 10 fish on this dive. Not something that happens often. And I ironed out all the, the mess ups in the start. Managed to double up another two times on the dive. Uh, fortunately, I hadn't charged my camera for a while and um, it was in my box. And the battery had gone flat, so I only managed to get the first double up. Now we're cooking on gas. 130 reloaded. Patience is key when sorting out line mess ups. Here comes Dylan. Busy rewinding the line on my bolt reel. I don't want that out while I'm playing the other fish. Having lots of braid or dynema lying around is not good when you're playing game fish. Oh, bulk drills take quite a while to reel in. Luckily there wasn't too much line out. There's my second fish on the floor. Quick chat with Dylan to tell him where the uh, fish are coming through. I'll tell him just now. Always communicate with your dive buddies. Helps to get um, get you on the fish quicker. Info for info. Nice six kilo specimen. back to the flood to string up the second fish. Oh, the fish were coming through two, three meters on the back line. Then later on on the ledge. Right just through the top of the head and then out through the gills. Hope you're enjoying the snook tutorials. And as always, dive safe. Straight spares from the bed. Please remember to like and subscribe. And please remember to comment.